All plants need water and minerals for their growth. There is continuous uptake of water by plants. Excessive water gets accumulated inside the plant which should be removed. This excessive water is lost through aerial parts of plant by the process called transpiration. This phenomenon can be demonstrated by taking well watered potted plant and covering only the plant with polythene. A mist can be seen inside the polythene which is formed by condensation of water vapors given out by plant parts. Plants lose water from stem and leaves through special structure. Leaves bear small pores called stomata. Stomata are surrounded by guard cells which are kidney or bean shaped in dicot plants and dumbbell shaped in monocot plants. Woody stem of plants bear lenticels which always remain open. Thin transparent covering on upper epidermis of leaf called cuticle also constitutes in losing excessive water transpiration which occurs through stomata is called stomatal transpiration through lenticels is called lenticular transpiration and through cuticle is called cuticular transpiration water from soil is absorbed by root hairs by the process of osmosis This water then diffuses through cortical cells, endodermis and enters xylem vessels in roots. Xylem vessels form continuous channels through root, stem and leaves where it diffuses into various tissues. Excessive water gets collected in substomatal space and passes out in air as water vapors. Many factors affect rate of transpiration like intensity of sunlight most of the transpiration occurs through stomata if they are open opening and closing of stomata depends on rate of photosynthesis as light intensity increases temperature when outside temperature increases evaporation of excessive water from aerial parts of the plant increases velocity of wind when velocity of wind increases it increases evaporation of excessive water humidity it is a water vapors present in the air more humidity decreases water holding capacity of air and transpiration decreases intensity of carbon dioxide increased intensity of co2 increases photosynthesis due to which stomata remain open and transpiration increases atmospheric pressure when atmospheric pressure is more conversion of water to water vapors decreases and so does transpiration water contents of leaf when plant cell contains more water transpiration increases so that space is created for more water to enter through roots excessive transpiration can kill the plant plants thrive in arid and semi arid conditions get limited supply of water such plants are modified to reduce transpiration narrow leaves on nerium reduces surface from where transpiration occurs in plants like cactus leaves are modified to spines to prevent excessive loss of water some plants have lesser number of stomata or their leaves have sunken stomata to reduce transpiration that is it for today please like share and subscribe for more videos like this